All right, three more to go. Let's check out ticket number three. Switch two sends VLAN one and 100 traffic via switch one. Ensure switch two sends VLAN one traffic via switch three. Do not modify any VLAN trunks or change the spanning tree mode. Okay, let's take a look at the layer two topology. Right now, switch two sends traffic for VLAN one and 100 via switch one. We need to make sure that switch two passes VLAN one traffic via switch three. Okay, sounds fairly simple. Let's jump over to switch two and see what's going on. Let's go into a show span VLAN 100. And the root port is gig 12, which faces switch one, which is exactly what the ticket indicated. But notice that we're using multiple spanning tree here. And VLAN 100 is attached to MST instance one. Let's take a closer look at that instance. Show span MST one. And it's basically the same output, but it says here, VLAN 100 is mapped to instance one. Okay, well, what about VLAN one? Let's do a show span VLAN one. VLAN one is mapped to instance zero, but the root port is also gig one slash two, which faces switch one. So switch two sends traffic for both MST zero and MST one via switch one. Now this is okay for MST one, but we want the port facing switch three to be the root port for MST zero because that's the instance carrying traffic for VLAN one. Looking at the layer two topology diagram, the gig two three interface is facing switch three, but notice it says bound RSTP. Now this tells us switch three is not in the same MST region. Let's check the MST configuration here and then on switch three. We'll go ahead and do a show span MST config. Now remember that an MST region is defined by the name, the revision number, and the VLAN to instance mappings. All of these elements must match on the switches in order for those switches to be in the same MST region. So we've got the name binpiper.com, revision number is zero, and only VLAN 100 is mapped to instance one, while the rest are mapped to the default instance zero. All right, keep that in mind, or better yet, write it down, and let's go to switch three now. From here, we'll go ahead and do a show span MST configuration. And everything is the same except for the VLAN to instance mappings. MST1 has mappings for VLAN 100 and 200, but it should have only VLAN 100 map. So let's change that. Conf T, spanning tree, MST configuration, and we're gonna do no instance one to remove instance one, and we're gonna recreate it instance one VLAN 100. So we're only adding VLAN 100 to instance one. Very important here. When you're done, you have to type exit so that it actually saves the MST configuration changes. Now, let's do show span MST configuration again. And now this matches what was on switch two. All right, let's jump back over to switch two now. Show span VLAN one. And now gig two slash three is the root port for MST zero. So switch two is passing VLAN one traffic via switch three, but we need to check VLAN 100 and make sure it's still going through switch one. Show span VLAN 100 and the root port is still gig one two, which faces switch one. So VLAN 100 traffic goes via switch one, VLAN one traffic goes via switch three, and that's exactly what the ticket requires. So believe it or not, we're done.